Hey guys, work is done for the day and I am starting off this week's weekly vlog. I think I'm gonna mood read this week, so I'm gonna pick up what I feel like. I have started The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O, and I'm already chap 11 chapters in page 97. And this little chunk was from when my nephew was taking a nap today, so... I'm liking it so far. I don't have too many thoughts because I don't know anything about this folklore, I think it is, and um, or this legend. So, unless it's, I don't know what it is. So, um, but um, it involves a sea god and our main character, Neem. M-I-N-A, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, so, um, yeah, but I'm liking it so far, I'm gonna read more of this while I watch a movie on TV, so, um, but yeah, other than that, and wait for dinner, and other than that, all I have to do is something else tonight, and that's it, then I have no plans for the rest of the night, so, gonna sit here and read as much of, it, of this as I can and then we'll see what else I end up picking up this week. I've got quite a few options here so and I've got one romance a lot of these are fantasy romance so I think this one counts as a fantasy romance fantasy romance I'm not sure but I'm going to continue it because I'm enjoying it. So, there's, there's that. I'm in my Can't Have Blood t-shirt today. So, wrong book. Right shirt. All good. But I'm going to go and I'll definitely keep you guys updated as I go along with this book. And figure out what else I'm going to read this week. Oh, last night I did finish the Jitsu Kaisen movie and mind blown the ending was insane so i started season two of that not very far in on season two but i started season two so but i'm gonna go and i will talk to you guys most likely after i eat dinner so Hey guys, excuse the mess on the bed. It is 5.44 p.m. Work is done for the day. And while my nephew was napping, I did read a little bit more of The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea. I am on page 120, which is chapter 13. So I'm going to read more of this. My goal set itself a goal, a small goal, to get to page 150 today, but if I reach that and still in the mood to read, I'll read more, but for now, I'm still liking it, I don't have any other feelings yet, so we'll see what happens when our main character gets the task she's supposed to complete out of the way and done, so we'll figure out with that. Right now it's looking at a three star read. So there's that. But I'm gonna go continue reading and hopefully keep my mind off this knee pain. And then if I finish this, I'm either going for Back to the Burning Skies or 
The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. I want to read at least two more books this month. This one will take me a little bit, so I might read this. With this, who knows? Read a bit of pages in this, read a bit of pages in that, and see what happens. But, other than that, I'm going to go I'll check you guys. I can't talk today. I will catch up with you guys when I have another reading update. Hey guys, it is Thursday and it is almost 6 p.m. last night. Oh, sorry for the towel. I just got out of the pool so my hair was really wet. So I'm trying to dry it before I get in the shower. Um, last night I almost hit my page goal for the burning skies i was gonna get to page 100 but i got to page 72 before i called it quits on this one and then i got my page goal into the girl who fell beneath the sea by axie O. I i got to chapter 17 page 156 so not too bad in this one i think i'm gonna start with this one tonight because I did make a page goal and it's page 150 in this so this one's doable this one is page 250 so I decided I'm not going to start the shadows between us until I finish either the burning skies or the girl who fell beneath the sea so that's my plan is to try and get both of these books done this week so I am busy Saturday afternoon though but other than that I really have no plans the rest of the weekend so that's exciting so I'll be able to read when I get home and when I wake up on Saturday before I leave so um, but no, I'm going to go try and read more and then go from there. I'll definitely let you guys know what pages I end up in both of these books tonight. But I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys later on. Hey guys, so it is Friday. It is 6.11pm and work is done. I have a three day weekend so I'm pretty happy with that. So tonight since we have the rest of today and tomorrow for the last day of the month is tomorrow. I'm going to try and finish The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O and I am roughly about halfway through. I didn't get a chance to read last night, so I'm still on chapter 17, page 157, and my page goal today was 250, which is chapter 29, basically, and then I only had this little bit left, so if I can get to chapter 29, and I could probably finish this off, because there's only... How many chapters? 35, 6, 36 chapters. So, chapter 29, I'm going to try and get to chapter 30 and then finish off this tonight. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And if I can finish this, then tomorrow before I leave because I have plans tomorrow afternoon is just read as much of this as I possibly can I'm on page 72 so this this one has much bigger font size than this one I mean look at the difference in the font size it. this is burning skies font it's huge and this is the girl who fell beneath the sea font. It's a little bit tiny. They're both white A, so I don't know which one I'm actually going to read tonight. Probably this one because I'm further into this one. I am watching Sarah Corley's new 
still not sure if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, but um, I'm watching her hour long vlog right now, so there's that. I am going to Barnes and Noble on Sunday to get two books. Daydream is definitely one of those. I am getting Daydream, and I don't know what other one I'm going to pick up, so I'll have to figure that out. But Daydream is a definite book, and Sunday will be the first of September, so I only bought one book for the month of August, so there's that. But I'm going to go try and read. I do have to take a shower tonight, so I'm going to do that as well. I'll do that after dinner. So, um, yeah, but I'm going to read. I'll definitely update you guys when I do, because my thoughts are still the same in The Girls of Bell Beneath the Sea. I'm liking it. I'm not loving it. I loved ASAP and XOXO. Loved those by Axio. This one, not so much. So, I don't know. We're going to continue with it. And then go from there. I will try and get some reading clips in of me reading. So, hopefully that will work tonight. Hopefully I can do that. So, but I've been rambling for four minutes. So, I'm going to go and I will update you guys when I have a reading update.
Okay guys, it is Saturday, about to say Sunday, it's the last day of August, and I finished The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axio, and I gave this a 3 stars, I liked it, I didn't love it per se, but I did enjoy it, so this is my third Axio book, this is a standalone, so... I'm glad I read it. This puts me at 71 books. I'm still 8 books behind on my reading goal, but I hopefully will get caught up here soon. And, um, yeah. I'm going to Barnes & Noble tomorrow. I know I'm getting two books. I might be getting a third. We shall see. And then I'm going to go from there. I leave in an hour, but when I get back, I'm going to read more of The Burning Sky by Sherry Thomas, so I am going to be reading more of this today. I do have to get dressed. I'm on page 72, so this will be my focus for today after I get home, so, but yeah. This is it. It's quite thick, so, but I'm just happy to say I finished my night the Book of Loma, so I'm excited about that, but I am going to go finish the vlog I'm watching, get dressed, get ready to go head out with friends for a couple of hours today, and then I'll come back. I just have to unload the dishwasher when I come back, and then that's pretty much it, and I can read for the rest of the night, so that's my plan, but I'm going to go, and when I get back, I will be focusing on this book, so, but yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it is still Saturday, I am back home. I don't know what my light is doing, so excuse that. But it is 6.33 p.m. I've had dinner, and now I'm just going to sit and relax for the day. Um, where I went today, there was, because the event was outside, so there was no breeze outside today whatsoever. So, uh, it was a bit humid today, so... But all in all, still had fun, but now I'm going to sit down and try and read more of The Burning Skies by Sherry Thomas. I'm going to see how far this I get today. I know I won't finish it because it's huge. So, there's that. I also am going to Barnes & Noble tomorrow. So, I'm hoping... I know I'm getting two books for sure, but I'm hoping I can squeeze in a third book and depending on how expensive it is and get that but i know i'm going for two i'm going for daydream and wisterica the third book for belladonna i want to get lady macbeth but i want to see how expensive that is first before i get it so um but yeah i'm going to go get some reading done and then I will update you guys in a little while. Hey guys, so it is Sunday. Um, today's reading plans is to read a bunch of The Burning Skies by Sherry Thomas today. Hopefully I can do that. But um, I did go to Barnes & Noble. I got three books. One is a manga that shouldn't have been out on the shelves until Tuesday, but they have one copy left. And I have my hands on volume 42 of Yana of the Dawn. Got the white dragon and the green dragon on the cover, and the other two on the back. I'm excited to read this. I need to read volume 41, so I'm not even going to flip through this, but, and I am, so there's... I'm excited to 
read this. This is the last volume, I think, of Yona Abaddon. I'm upset. I'm sad about it. And they need to make more than season one on Country Roll. So I got volume 42. I also got Wish Dorica by Adeline Grace. And this cover is gorgeous. Take a look. The only one that I don't have in hardcover is Belladonna, but that's okay. So here's the front, it's the back. So the end pages are pretty purple. So both of these are on my TBR. This one and Box Club I do have on my TBR to read. So I'm excited to read these and figure out where the story goes from there. So I got this Rika. I wanted to get Lady Macbeth, but that's a little bit more expensive, so I'm gonna have to wait till the next time I get paid. But I did end up getting Emily Wiles and Map of the Otherlands by Heather Fawcett. That's how you pronounce her name. This is the Barnes and Noble edition for the paperback. I've been waiting for the paperback to come out so it can match my Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies, which I also need to finish in September so I can read this. They did have a book, a book club book, but I'm going to wait until see my library hold comes in to see if I am going to enjoy it. If I do, then I'll buy the book of the Brandon Sanderson. So but yeah, I'm um excited to read book two and finish off Emily Wild's Encyclopedia of Fairies, which is on my shelf somewhere. Oh, mm -hmm, there it is. So let me go get it. This is the Emily Wilde Encyclopedia of Fairies, and this is the Map of the Netherlands. They both have deckled edges. I have started this one. I just need to finish it. This one's more blue and purple, and this one's more green and fall looking. So I'm excited to read both of these in September. I do have my September TBR planned out. I just have to film that video and go from there. I've been rambling, but I'm going to um, go and for a little while it's another warm humid day outside so I'm staying in for the rest of the day <laughs> so there's that but I'm gonna go try and read some of burning skies and I'll talk to you guys when I have a reading update Okay guys, it's a little bit later. It's 4.24 p.m. and I'm on chapter 10 in The Burning Skies. I forgot how much, how little slow this book is, but once you meet our main male character and she gets to the, I forgot she's attending school, and she is um, portraying a male while she's at the school for the time being. Uh, I forgot how much it picks up after that. So I'm on chapter 10. I'm going to keep reading this. The chemistry between the two is insane. So I know we got a little bit of romance in this, but I can't remember how much. So I'm assuming it'll 
progress in books two and three. So, but uh, I'm liking it. I'm gonna keep reading, and then yeah, we'll see where it goes and see how far I get. End up getting in this today. So if I could get halfway, that would be great. But yeah. I'm enjoying it, so I'm going to keep reading, and I will talk to you guys when I have more of an update. Okay guys, it is much later. It's almost 9pm. I'm stopping here for the night. I am almost finished with the writing skies so I'm gonna continue this vlog till tomorrow and until I finish this book I'm on chapter 19 page 325 I totally did my math wrong okay I'm on 324 and yeah I'm gonna go I've read over 200 pages of this today and it's been a good reading day so I'll definitely be finishing this up tomorrow. I have a little over 100 pages left. So once I finish this, I don't know if I'm going to go straight into the second book. But I might jump back into Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. That might be what I do after I read, after I finish this. But I'll let you guys know what I end up doing tomorrow. So I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it is Monday, so I decided to continue the vlog into today because it's a holiday weekend here in the United States. And today's plan, and I don't have work today, today's plan is to finish The Burning Skies by Sherry Thomas. Last night I got to chapter 19 page 324. I read a little over 200 pages of this last night. It's crazy. I have a probably a little over 100 pages left. So I'm not going anywhere today. And I'm just going to sit and finish this book today. I don't know what I'm going to pick up next. I have quite a few options to pick up. I have the second book, which is uh, Coralius C. I know I'm mispronouncing that, but this is a sequel. It's The Burning Skies, which I've never read, and I'm doing a readathon read this month. Well, we're counting our pages right, and if it's a library book, it's extra points. So this counts for extra points for my team. So. But also have Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I do need to finish this because it's been sitting left started for a while. So I'm on page 104. So I need to get back into this. I also have Spells for Forgetting by Adrienne Young. I know nothing about this, so I'm going to go into this one blindly. And, um, yeah, those are my next few options. I also have a reread of Namesake by Adrian Young as well as an option. <laughs> so, um, yes, I do have my fall TBR planned out. I need to film that. I need to film my wrap-up, which I might do today because some of the books I have on my wrap-up our library books and I'm going to the library tomorrow to return them so I need to film that today it's a gloomy day outside so it's a perfect day to just stay inside and chill so that's what I'm gonna do I am going to gather all the books I have all the books but two books because I already returned two of the books to the library so I read uh, two, four, six, eight, nine books last month, started my 10th. So I had a really great reading month last month. So I'm gonna 
get off here. Film that wrap up. Finish the burning skies. And then who knows what the rest of my day will bring. But I'll definitely let you guys know. And I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it is a little bit later and I just finished The Burning Skies by Sherry Thomas. Again, thoroughly enjoyed this. Gave it a four stars. And I still stand by what I said back when I read it a while ago. Reminds me of Harry Potter. Set in a school setting. Magic's involved. The elemental magic is involved. Bonds. All sorts of stuff. Spells are included in this so and this our main character is a lightning mage and she's trying to control the other elements as well so this was thoroughly good i'm going to lock my points onto the spreadsheet in a little bit but since i finished this I don't know what I'm gonna go into next but um that is it for this week's reading vlog but I'm going to go hope you guys enjoyed and leave a rain cloud emoji because it's been off and on raining for the last couple days but I will pick up next week's vlog where I figure out what I'm going to start off with. So I will talk to you guys later.